hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts so today we will discuss what what are, what are constructors and destructors in python so yeah so constructor is a method used to initialize an object so if you if you already know java so you would know what uh, what constructors are so a uh, constructor is a special type of method in python which gets initialized automatically when we create an object so whenever we create an object it uh, it automatic that particular method automatically gets called so it is used for initializing your method so in python we have uh, init method which is a constructor and the syntax is as uh, written in the ppt so uh, uh, def init and then we pass self uh, you can uh, you can actually write any other word but uh, usually self is only written so uh, yeah and then inside whatever you want to write in the constructor and there are two types of constructor one is your default constructor and the other is your parameterized constructor so default constructor is is a constructor which does not accept any argument so it has only one single argument which is self the self argument is a reference to the current object and the second type of constructor is parameterized constructor so in parameterized constructor as the name suggests we can pass parameters so we can pass more than one argument so the first argument is always going to be self so always remember that self will always be there uh, uh, self is, the, is a reference to the instance being created and then you can add any other argument after that uh, whichever you want to use further in the constructor so this is parameterized constructor so there are two types default and parameterized constructor i hope it is clear now let's see what are destructors so destructors are used to destroy an object so whenever you want to destroy an object you can call destructor although it is not required in python as as in python uh, the uh, the garbage is already you know collected so python has the garbage collector that handles memory management automatically so you do not have to call a destructor but uh, this is uh, uh, the destructor method is uh, uh, the syntax is uh, like this it's so def and del and then you add self uh, self in the argument and then it can return anything so destructors can also be ca called manually or automatically as well although it is not required for you to call a destructor as python will automatically call it so python will automatically collect garbage so yeah that is what destructors do so i hope that is clear and now let's see practical examples of constructors and destructors so here is the example of constructor and destructor uh, here i have created a class student where uh, i here i have created constructor in it uh, in python we have init constructor uh, in this constructor i am just printing i am in constructor then i have this method study uh, where i am just printing i am student and here is the destructor in python we have destructor del as we have seen in the ppt uh, which is printing i am a destructor and here i am just creating object here student student equals to student now if i run this code we can see here we are getting this output i am in constructor and i am in destructor uh, although i haven't called the del destructor here uh, it's automatically get called because in python uh, we have destructor and python uh, does the memory management automatically hence uh, it's not needed uh, we have to create destructor every time python automatically manages it so even though I'm not calling the destructor, it's automatically get called. We can also call manually here by using del student. Yes. And uh, now if I run this code, we are getting the same output again. Mm, now I'll just call this method student dot study. And now if I'll run the code, then you can see we can get we are getting the output i'm in constructor then i'm a student and then i'm a destructor and object is automatically get destroyed so this is how memory management uh, is uh, done automatically so uh, this is the uh, default constructor i have used here we can also use parameterized constructor if i want we can i can pass the argument as name and i can uh, give the reference self dot name equals to name and i can also access it here as a cell dot name and now if i pass here argument v bar 
then and now if i run the code we can see that i mean constructor we can this is how we can uh, create the parameterized constructor 